Welcome back, everyone, to the Delta McKenzie ASA Classic Open Pro. We're going to begin with next. Darren Christianberry, there's our leaderboard. What do you see? I see the battle between the teachers and the students. <laughs> Levi, Levi Morgan, Dan McCarthy, always in the mix and trying to win these things. And then we got three guys. This is their first shoot down. Ryan Jeffrey, yes. strong score at 424. Braden Jones, super nice, polite kid, 421. Indiana boy there, Benny Barger in fifth place at 418. This one's far from over as well. We are definitely looking forward to it. Nathan Brooks, let's get this started. Bring out our archers. All right, let's do it again tonight. So let's uh, look at our open pro division. And in fifth place, from Scottsburg, Indiana, shooting for obsession, Benny Barger. And your fourth place qualifier from Smithville, Mississippi, shooting for elite, Braden Jones. And in third place from Shepherdsville, Kentucky, shooting for Matthews, Ryan Jeffries. And in second place, from Wazika, Wisconsin, shooting for Matthews, Dan McCarthy. And in first place, from Uniontown, Pennsylvania, shooting for Matthews, Levi Morgan. All right, Darren, as you mentioned, teachers and students there, those last two archers, I mean, they are two of the very best who have ever played this game. They are. We, we talk in, you know, certain circles. We're like, well, gosh, you know, the open pro guys, they're only shooting for three spots in the shoot down because you can almost guarantee that Dan and Levi are going to be in there. They don't miss very many of these. So, you know, it's tough for the whole class to just battle for three open positions. And I know it's not that critical, not that, you know, that's not that literal, but it's what it seems like because they're always out there battling to win these things so I'm curious to see how Benny and Ryan and Braden handled this glad to see him out there Benny you heard the big cheer when he came out he is a fan favorite here one of the nicest guys you'll meet on the range Golly. when he went for 14 <laughs> Brent Jones 22 years old this is his first shoot down his dad Brad's out here he's got to be like coming apart at the seams McCarthy went at the 14 too Wow. I'm not surprised, but I mean, he's trying to make that move right away. There's a good look at Ryan Jeffries right, right down his shoulder. He shot strong all weekend, Ryan did. Good 10. So Levi shoots an eight low on the Panther. He underjudged a little bit. We got a race here. 436. I like this. I don't like that Levi shot an eight, but no. I like these races. Yes. Good look at Dan. 2022 ASA Shooter of the Year in the Open Pro class. Yeah, Dan McCarthy is our 2022 Shooter of the Year Open Pro back to back. This is his second. So for Dan McCarthy, currently two points behind, two points behind, two points behind, two points Puts him at 434, so that lead just stays two points there. Levi over Dan, still two. Ryan's going to tie. <laughs> Ryan's going to move into a tie for second now with his 10 on that long brown bear, I believe. I don't mean to get ahead of the camera there, but I'm excited about this math I'm doing right here. <laughs> we saw some Ryan Jeffries fat heads in the stands yeah. there. I yeah. had not seen those there before. They there are. they are. Yeah. Right on cue. That's, uh, that's a collector's item there. I like it. 10 points for Ryan, 434. That's when you know archery has made it, when you've got <laughs> fat heads in the stands. I like it. <laughs> Braden Jones. I don't know if Braden called it the upper or he's got a high arrow there. I believe it's an eight. It is. You can see the ten line and the core line. That's a replaceable core, but he's well yep. inside the eight line, so it is eight points. 429. So with Braden, what I wanted to mention was for folks out there, he started, uh, the uh, earliest record I have of him is in high school open and just shot his way up. Yeah. Open B, open A, semi-pro, 
worked his way up over the years. And here he is now on the biggest stage at 22. And the kid shoots good. He, he shoots does. good. Benny didn't miss that by much. No, just high. Literally a half a yard less, and he would have caught that 14. So 426. Good for Benny. That's minimal damage with maximum gain right there. He yeah. could have he could have done well with a 14, but that's just the first arrow, PJ. Man, I feel like we've shot like six already. We, we, we got five more to go. This is good. Wow. So yeah, so Levi Morgan holds on to the lead, 436. Dan McCarthy, Ryan Jeffries, 434. Braden, 29. Barker, 26. Levi rotates to the shortest target. I think Levi has to just 12 this thing. I know Dan tried to take the lead by going at the 14. Don't blame him a bit. Think it was a good play. Yeah. But Levi's trying to hang on to a lead here. Dan has to hit rings to catch him. So I think a 12 would be the play for Levi. But there's a good look at Dan. Super steady. Dan has won three of our events this year. Levi has won one. That bow doesn't move very much. No. That's good the longest shot. target. That's oh, a good shot. Just missed that 12. That's a good shot. So this right. is Benny. Panther. 10. Just left to that That's 12. A good shot on that long bomb. 436 for Benny. <laughs> Benny's about as nice as they come. Absolutely. He's about as nice as they come. Every tournament, he thanks me for what we do out here, yep. just as nice as can be. Yep. He's just a good dude. There's that Levi Morgan 12 and I'm on cue. Yep. It's going to put him at a 448. And we should mention Levi normally is in the mix for Shooter of the Year. He had to miss two tournaments this year due to family issues. and. You, you only get one drop, so by missing two, it effectively put him out of the yeah, race. Yeah, he wasn't really in contention after missing that second event. Dan shot a good shot there. He just missed that 12 on that bear. All right, next up, Dan McCarthy. Eighth of an inch above it. Mm. At the longest target, so that's like a half a yard. Yeah, he if, yeah like even if he just wiggled low a little bit, he would have caught that one. 444 for Dan, so Levi stretches his lead to four points, which again, with the 14 in play, four point leads nothing. Yeah. Come around to Ryan Jeffries. That's an eight. Oh, wide left. Interesting. I couldn't tell that from the first camera angle. 442. So he drops back into third. I love you, kids. You're great. All right, Braden Jones. Braden Jones shooting at an upper 12. Ryan, we should mention, was Open Pro tw last year. He was our Rookie of the Year. Looky there. Braden Jones, who just shot that 12, is our current Rookie of the Year in this class. And he's only one point out of third right now. Wow. That should help his confidence. He, he broke the ice on a really long target there and got his first 12 in a shoot down. All right, guys. Yeah, he's real quiet. He competes out there. His dad's always with him on the range, and he, but he's intense. He's super polite. <laughs> he uh, is. Uh, he's on staff <laughs> with us, shooting the elite there. But Braden's, you know, yes sir, yes sir, yeah. yes sir. He's super polite. He's a good kid. <laughs> I'm glad to see him out there. It's good for him to get in the mix because I know he's got game. And yes. He's showing he deserves to be out right, there. Right. Good for him. Mr. Levi Morgan. All right. 13 Shooter of the Year titles in this division, we should mention. 12 of them in a row. Mm. One of the best, if not the best, to ever play this game. Big old strong boy, good shot. Look at that. Oh, longest target out there. <laughs> I love watching him shoot. There's a good look at Braden. 12. <laughs> If he called up or he, I think he shoots uppers. <laughs> That's awesome. There's, there's a good look at Ryan. Braden did call upper. Yeah. Oh, oh this, Ryan gets a twelve. Now we're seeing some bonus rings yeah. fall. All right, here we go. And Dan went for the fourteen. He did. This is going to be an awesome round. Just missed it. 
But yet the 12 call. So Smash this is Braden. It. Yeah. Smashed it. 12. Good for him. For Next up. He's trying to get into third, but Ryan Jeffries okay. won't let him pass. <laughs> There's a good look at Benny. All right. Benny is 14. Oh, he went he into went 14, for didn't he? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, he did. I think he caught that eight line. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. Solid in the eight. 444. Benny was in a nail biter at the end. He had to have some misses and some bonus rings and all that because there were other people, other archers around him, and it came down to the last target. He was done. He was waiting. And on the last target, an archer shot a five, and that allowed Benny to get wow. in for his first shoot down It's ever. never over till it's over. Nope. 12 for Levi. We're 60. On the longest target. And when we Here's we go for going at that 14. Boy, he's trying to get in the mix and trying to win it. And he, yeah. And he is just, yeah, just golly, out. just low left. That's going to be an eight, I believe. 452, I think. Here's yep. Don Bailey. Official. Yeah. We'll note, or I'll note, we started shooting this morning at 7.30 a.m. Central Time. Right. A 40 yeah, target round on. takes about three and a half hours, so well, we would have wrapped up at about 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then we started to shoot down, what, 4.30, 5.30 Eastern-ish, right, you know? Yeah. So these archers have all had a big, long break today. Oh, Ryan called upper on that. Oh, so he gets a 10. 4.52. So they've all... So. So Braden Jones has slid into second place. That's so awesome. I guess point of all that babbling I did there is these archers have had a long break. So yes. it's it's hard. They, they do have a warm-up bag where they can loosen up, but they've had a long break today and on a hot day, and it's hard to get back in the groove sometimes out there. That humidity down here, Coleman, Alabama, boy, it just takes the life out of you. You can tell Braden lives in Mississippi. He's used to it because he's on long he's pants and long sleeves. <laughs> yeah, right. So he's like, yeah, it's not hot. This is normal. <laughs> Let's see if Levi can continue this 12 streak here. He looks pretty determined to me. Yeah, he does. Boom, strong shot, straight that's left. A 10. That's, that's okay for him, I'm sure. He, d he said he never likes this guy behind him. Yeah, Dan's dangerous. Oh, and he that's got why, that one. That's why he's dangerous. <laughs> he just got that one. Golly. <laughs> I mean, he's guessing Man. that to within a couple right, of feet to up. hit that ring there Ryan on that Jeffries. long target. Upper 12 was called. Ryan Jeffries lands a 10 he on that called up Panther. Or fell, yeah, so he's, he's like under judging those long targets Ryan. a little bit. Good 10 for Ryan. Next up, Braden Jones. And Brayton Jones, you know, he comes in with an uneven number, 421, which means he shot a five this mm -hmm. weekend, on, right yeah. which is not unheard of, but that means he had to shoot a whole lot of 12s yeah. to stay in the mix. Yeah. You've got to hit some rings to, to come back from a five, so he's, he shot was solid. It looks big. It is. It is. He shot his way into it. There was only a handful of targets left. He was like on the low end, mix five, six, five, six place. And then he hit some 12s there at the end and just moved himself solidly into, into the mix. That's a nerve wracking spot out there when you're trying to get in the yeah. final five because you can't win the tournament unless you're in the shoot down. Right. There's an eight for Benny, 452. So when you know we, they have scores posted on the range, so everybody can look at a scoreboard and kind of see where they're at every five targets. So you know if you're six points off the board, you need to hit some rings to get there. So it can be stressful, especially when right. you get down the last couple targets and they throw a 50-yard Wolverine at you or something. That's a nervy <laughs> shot. Ten. Ten points for Levi, 470. And Dan the man, McCarthy. XT large deer. 
He's so good. 14 points. 14 points. 466. Just like that, he jumped yeah. back into second so place. The so the eight-point lead that Levi was enjoying just got cut in half. Seven points ahead of Brady Jones. Eight points ahead of Ryan Jeffries. And Benny is having the time of his life. Brady Jones still holding on to that third spot. All right. Last arrow. Who do we got shooting what? We should have... Levi shooting the last target, so he should be on this deer. Mm -hmm. Dan McCarthy will be finishing up on that panther, I believe. No, he'll be right behind him at the. I mean, with Dan's ready. Yeah, I think Dan just rotated to the yeah, black yeah, panther, yeah. so it, it's a long shot too. I don't know. Right, now, it wouldn't surprise ready? me. Gentlemen, I don't know if he'll right see enough now. detail on that black target to risk shooting a 14. If he does. He'll really put the he'll really put the pressure on that big guy right there. Levi loves hunting deer, so I'm sure he's like that he's looking at this target. Man, Levi looks awful focused. Good ten right there, bud. Didn't give anything up. Good look at Braden. Just that's, low right of that upper. That's the longest target. Dan has not shot mm -hmm. yet. Mm -mm. So he's four points behind Levi. He needs a fourteen here to tie it up. A 12 will get the lead to two. Let's see what Dan decides to do. You can see his thumb working that trigger right there. He oh, went at the 14. Just, He's trying to win this thing. Man, is he trying. Boy, he just... Eight points. Doesn't have the numbers today. There's a good look at this shot. Four points behind on the black panther. You can see how high that arrow was above and then dropped down in. He needed two more yards to catch the bottom of that yeah. thing. Eight points for Dan. Four, seventy-four. Yeah. There's Ryan Jeffries. He went for that 14, and he I believe did. he got it. I think he did. Good for Ryan. We're going to see those fat hits come out. I see the kids <laughs> lined up. There'll be they a big ready. cheer. There should be a big yes, cheer with this, will. with this call. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a 476. That's a big arrow right there for him. Yeah. He's going to go into second place. Him into second. Only four points behind Levi. So the 14 is still a big factor with the sixth arrow to go. Brayton Jones. It's a good arrow at that long target. Yeah. Just a 10, but 473. <laughs> so he's currently in fourth. Benny. There you see Braden with Keith Allstrom, Benny another elite pro out there. It's a whole different game. Benny was hey, at 452. Really yeah. had no option other than yeah, to try right. to hit that 14. Down, good weekend, Benny Barger. Absolutely. Benny's finishing with a 457. Congrats. He's got Congrats on being out there. Yep. <laughs> He's got all kind of family here in the stands. I know they're proud of him. His buddies are proud of him. Oh, there's Levi. Ten points for Levi. 480. Okay. The stage is set. 480 for Levi. 476 for Ryan. 474 for Dan. 473 for Braden. So Braden's going to get a shoot first. Yep. Then Dan will shoot second. Ryan will shoot third, and then Levi will get to see what he needs to do. Benny takes home fifth place. Congratulations to him. That's a great weekend for Benny. And now we're going to see what they do here for this sixth and final arrow. Are they going to bring out a target? Oh, uh, yep, I see him bringing out the javelina. Yep. I wonder, seeing those guys shake hands right there makes me think, you know, Dan, he went for it. Yeah. You know, and I love to see a guy go for it. But he shot at two 14s and shot eights to where if, what if he shot at a 12 and just clipped a 10? So, yeah. you know, he, him and Levi could be tied really easy right now. So exactly. that's that's how fast this goes. That's how quick it can change. Um, I, I just, a point of all that, I just wonder if Dan looks back and goes, man, I wish I'd have just shot 12s on those. <laughs> you know, at the point, I don't disagree, and I think he made the best decision. But yeah. I wonder if they ever look back and go, I wish I would have done that different. Right. Mr. Don Bailey, give him a round of applause. We need to have uh, There we go. Don Bailey 
We're giving a round of applause to longtime tournament director. There he is. He is retiring, but he's coming back. This is in the end of Don Bailey <laughs> here at ASAs. I guarantee you. But he will not be the tournament director. That's gonna that mantle will pass to Scott Parrott, who's a little bit younger. <laughs> It's also Don's 46th wedding anniversary, and his wife's down there in the GPO tent with him. 46th ah. wedding anniversary? Is that 46 what or 47, he said. Wow. Don Bailey's anniversary. His wife is here. I think she's only been at two events ever. That's awesome. She Congrats came out to, to see his last one. Congrats to her for putting up with him for 47 <laughs> years. That's what we got to talk about there. She's a saint. <laughs> Don Bailey is one of the great characters of ASA. He's a good guy. <laughs> he loves to have fun. He loves to pull pranks. I love it when he pulls them on me. <laughs> it's just a good time. He hid my cart one time last year, and he could see me, and I was in a hurry, and I'm walking around like, what? Where the heck did I put that thing? Your golf and cart? I, yeah, my golf cart. And I turn around and look, and there's Don pointing at me, laughing his head off. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> he got me. So Braden Jones is one point off the podium in his first shoot down ever, and they've put the target with the tiniest 14 available out in front of him. So I'm curious to see what this youngster does. Yeah. But if he shoots a 12, he goes to 75. Yeah. He forces McCarthy to hit a ring. So I'm thinking 12. I'm thinking 12 for Braden. 14 is 14's awesome if you hit it, but it's like, oh my gosh, why'd I do that if you miss it? Yeah. As we mentioned, Braden is our 2022 Open Pro Rookie of the Year, 22 years old. I mean, congrats to him on a great season anyway. And to cap it off at the Classic, he makes his first shoot down. Yeah. Good for him. With a shot at a podium. <laughs> I think when okay, archers find yeah, themselves the breaking the ice, I talked to him earlier about, man, you broke the ice. They find a different gear, you yeah. know? So unfortunately for Braden, this is the last tournament of the year, but I could see him making making more shoot downs next year pretty easily. Absolutely. He might spend the winter all right, saying, ready? all right, I got a taste. Yeah. Yeah. Now I want it. He got all those good feels and the nerves and, the, yeah. and this right. is, I'm sure more. his heart rate's up just a little bit right here, but he's shooting good. You never know it. He doesn't show much no, emotion. he doesn't. <laughs> Let's see what he decides to do. I'm thinking 12, but he may go for it. He's holding good. Yeah. Oh, just left. So I'm not sure what he went for Straight there. Left. He's between. He may have shot at that 14, be just low right of it. Yeah. yeah. Good weekend, kid. Yes, sir. It's a poke at that Alvalina. Hey, yeah. That's he could tell when it hit. No, nope. yep. I could just read that. Good weekend, Braden. 481 for him. So Ryan Jeffries needs he needs an eight to be in front of because if he shoots a five, Braden will beat him on bone strings. Dan McCarthy, yeah, he needs a. Oh, Dan's up. My yeah. bad. I'm I'm looking at Ryan's score. Dan's up. I'm sorry. So he needs, he needs a an eight. He needs an eight. Put him at 82. Right. He needs we'll to be an eight, eight or now. better to yeah. move in front of Braden. And I, I mean, he doesn't really have a great shot at Levi, so I don't know if the 14 is worth it. But he's Dan McCarthy. He, he probably, does what he wants. He probably goes for it here. Boy, it's quiet. Dead quiet. That's a long hold that for him. That is long. Let that down start over, Dan. There yeah. you go. Right on cue. He must have You're a mic. In his ear. Yeah, he <laughs> must have a mic on. <laughs> he held that way too long. Well, he held it longer than normal. Normally, and normally yeah. if you get past your 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 routine bad things happen he's got 15 seconds on the clock so plenty of time he's aiming at it that's why he was struggling with it just, ah, under, just it. under it darn it what a good
good shot at yeah. it, though. He knows, and he judges these targets so close. That's why he gets so close to all those rings, because he's almost dead on with his number. So an 82. So he will bump Braden. Yep. So Braden right will now. finish fourth so far, barring yep. disaster, mm -hmm. but right now. Ryan. Fourth. Dan looks to be third. So See what Ryan does. If here. Ryan shoots an eight, Ryan. he'll get second at least. If he shoots a 14, Levi would have to hit a bonus yeah. ring to win. A 10 would tie them. And then Levi Five. would win on bonus ring. So he really needs a 14 to have a chance All to right. win this. We'll His running. first shoot no. down. I mean, a podium looks good on your first shoot down. So if he shoots you go a, for it all. Yeah, if he shoots an eight, he goes to 84. He probably gets second. If he shoots a five, he'll go to fourth. So it's a risky arrow. Yeah. Center 10. Good decision. 486. Yep. Take second place in your first shoot down. So Absolutely. Le Levi needs eight points to win this tournament. 10 for Ryan Jeffries. That moves him to 486. And a solid second place. So, yep. so that's going to be Ryan. All right, Levi. Again, Levi's shooter, but we're looking like Ryan in second, Dan McCarthy in third. You need to win. And we'll start your one minute. And this, I'm going to be curious because this is an easy shot for Levi Morgan, but he loves to win so much. I bet his hand is still shaking. Look at that little. He yelled at me for talking about that. I can't talk about oh, that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I won't bring it up. Eight to win. Center sorry, team. man. Good shot, go. big guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good 10. 490. 490. He didn't really yell at me, but he did ask me. He's like, what are you talking about my handshaking for, Darren? <laughs> That's his second win of the season for Levi. There's big cheers for Ryan there making his podium. Good for him. Congratulations. First, Ryan Jeffrey. Second, Dan McCarthy. Third, Mr. Braden Jones had a good weekend, and he ended up in fourth, but he shot great. Absolutely. We're going to get Levi over here to ask him about that. We won't ask him about his handshake. It was steady, solid as a rock. Solid man. as a rock, yeah. We won't even bring it up. <laughs> But that, what that goes to is he always talks about it. He wants to win oh, so yeah. bad when he's out there. Yeah. Just loves it so much. So here he's got those headphones on. Levi Morgan, second win of the season. How does that feel? I don't even, I can't even put it into words. You know, you come out here, I've, I've been shooting the ASA since I was 10 years old, and you would think these wins would get easier, and they, um, they just don't. Um, I think I want it worse every time I come here, and it gets harder every time. These guys are unbelievable, and um, the good Lord's blessed me more than I could ever deserve, and uh, you never know when it's going to be your last one, and I guess I've been realizing that more and more lately, so I just I couldn't be happier. Levi, you've been in contention and won so many Shooter of the Years, and this year with some family things, we know you were unable to make a couple of events. What's the difference now where in Shooter of the Year wasn't on the line you weren't having to battle so hard for that what's that feel like out there yeah well it, it definitely was the first time in maybe 16 years that I didn't have to worry about that and um I was able to shoot a little more loose you know and not care as much which sometimes can help like the last few targets today they were all bombs and I I, I could go for them you yeah. know and I didn't have to worry about losing shooter of the year and I hit those last two or three rings on the range which ended up probably winning me the tournament so it made a huge difference not having to worry about that. Well, hats off, big guy. Congrats on another great weekend. Congratulations, Levi. Thanks, guys. All right, Levi Morgan is our Open Pro champion here. Next up, Darren, we're going to know the distances. Known Pro, we'll be right back.